Crater at 7. So we're here at sunrise, so this is going to be really fun, going to Molokini Crater. So our boat is getting launched into the water now, so we're about to go down to the dock and get right in and show you some clips on the way there and then pull out the GoPro and jump in the water. Crater or around it for it's 8:19 right now. What time we get here? Mm. I think it's been almost an hour, maybe. Um, I have a feeling we'll be headed back on the boat kind of soon. Um, we've seen maybe like I'm sure a million different types of fish, but the ones that stick out to me are the yellow, the yellow one from Finding Nemo, the black and white one from Finding Nemo. Um, what else is there? It's really cool and it's shaded, so no sunburn. Um, the water is pretty warm, but we do have wet food, but it's been fun so far.
so we just got done snorkeling at Molokini Crater or uh, back in the car nice and dry again that was really incredible to go and dive in a place where it's very deep water and um, you're in the middle of the ocean even more than Maui I was a little sad because there were no turtles over there but we did see really cool fish no whale sharks or anything like that no like stingrays so that was a little disappointing but it was still really fun to go on a boat and yeah again snorkel where it was like really deep and the water is really clear I was hoping to see like a reef shark. We didn't see it that either. We saw an eel. So Malokini Crater or Honolulu Bay? I'd still go Malokini Crater, I think. I think Honolulu Bay is my favorite between the two. Turtle Town's the best. Yeah. Like that's just hands down. There's not a ton of coral. Like there's, it was really cool to see all the coral life out in Malokini Crater. You don't have as much reef and everything and coral at Turtle Town but you have the turtles there and you have just about the same type of fish that you do out in like Molokini Crater or Honuma Bay. That's just my take on it. It was still really fun. I feel like it was a little overpriced for what we got out of it, but that's kind of Hawaii in general sometimes. Like, Especially Maui. Yeah, like the food, it, it's like not amazing or like not everything is amazing, but they'll still like charge you like more than it's worth I guess or like the quality is not the best which reminds me so last night after we had monkey pod we forgot to give our like honest review so last night I had a burger and Kara had some fish tacos just very basic fish tacos they're a little spicy but like there were only three and I felt like there were only like three cubes of fish in them each and it was like 30 bucks for yeah. the three tacos and my thing was like 20 something bucks. Your burger was tiny too. Like it wasn't like what we're used to at, I don't know. Anywhere else. Anywhere else, yeah. So like, I don't mind smaller portions of food and everything. Don't just, don't charge like you're giving, you know, some grande meal. We also got their like specialty sodas that they make on the island. So Derek got a root beer and I just got a diet cola and they were good, but they were like $5 each. So it just wasn't worth it. I think Monkey Pot is mostly known for its Mai Tais, which we didn't order anyway. We don't drink. It's just an expensive place and I'm sure there's really good stuff there, but we just didn't order it because we didn't want to pay $40 for one meal. We just about paid 40 bucks for each person in the end. I'd recommend not going there. Not worth it. Uh, not that great of a vibe. So I think other people would like it, but if you're trying to be on a budget and just want good quality food, like this is not the place. <laughs> Maui is super overpriced on just about everything. The... I do want to go to fruit stands or like the banana bread stands are probably on the road or along the way in, on the road to Hana. So I would like to do that because we didn't get to do that in Oahu, like buy any fruit off the side of the road or anything like that. But I haven't seen any yet where we're staying. I think I actually like French toast more than the pancakes. They're pretty good. What do you not like about those pancakes? Um, the like banana? Bland, maybe. Really? But the French toast is amazing. I, I, I probably like French toast more than pancakes, so I gotta remember that. Yeah, this is really good. It had a huge amount of butter. It's very delicious.
we're driving up to the Lahaina Harbor and it's a good spot for longboard surfing and go up there it's on the west side of Maui so we haven't been to this side of the island yet yet we've only gotten here yesterday it's a crazy drive over to the side of the island it's a two-lane highway <laughs> We're at the brake wall right now. I think this is where we're gonna get involved. not overrated that we've been to so far. Like this is actually like amazing. All right, so we just went to Leota's pie shop and it's not just a pie shop. They have sandwiches and burgers. Yeah, like it's a restaurant too. And it's funny because like it's in this line off the side of this um, really pretty road. It just looks new and modernized compared to everything else that's around it. So that's how you know it's really popular that like tourists have gotten to it, I think. But um, we got the banana cream pie. It was its like mini pie. It was really good. It didn't have a crust though. It was like this weird like, how would you describe it? It was like a tall like whipped cream thing. And then we had the uh, chocolate cream pie. I forgot what the name exactly was, but it had like coconut in it as well. It kind of like was coconut flan. Is that the consistency? You yeah, would... kind of similar mm -hmm. to that. But it was good. It wasn't like overpowering or anything. This is kind of the first place that has lived up to the hype, I would say, of all the like touristy restaurants that people recommend or you know, the ones Except you get. Except for Foodland, the poke there. Love Foodland. <laughs> So Foodland is solid. That's solid poke. Like I wouldn't say it's the best poke in the world, but it's solid. And it's only like seven dollars for a bowl compared to like back at home, the poke bowls are like fifteen dollars. We live right on the ocean too. It shouldn't be that way. Yeah. But for yeah, Leota's lives up to the hype. This is the first place that we've tried here so far where I was like yeah, this is better than what I expected. Yeah, the banana cream pie I think is the best banana cream pie I've ever had. It's the best pie I've ever had. Oh, okay. I will say that. I don't know what the best pie I've ever had is, but this one's pretty good. I keep track of my favorite foods and where I've had them. Started to. When we were in Italy, we were in Florence. We had the Florentine steak and it was the best steak I've ever had in Excellent. my life. That was the best meal I've ever had in my life. Okay. 
So we just finished off the day with the sunset. It was pretty good. Well, now we're gonna go off to dinner and... Get ready for a road to Mana tomorrow. That's the big day tomorrow. Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. A break to my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you let? 